Well, good morning, Britain. It's gone uh, 7 o'clock on Monday morning. Here are the latest headlines. Yes, Captain Sir Tom Moore has tested positive for COVID-19. Well, to his legions of fans, he's known as the demon and recognised the world over by his legions of seven-inch tongue. <laughs> well, he's the being treated Trump for Gene pneumonia no devil and getting help with his breathing. COVID. Yes, the rock and roll icon whose band has been the government's forced deadline to postpone offering its COVID farewell vaccines world to most care homes in England has apparently passed last... ...spirits lifted. Um, just on the subject of when this is all over, of course, the health secretary did say at the weekend that Brits should enjoy a happy and free summer in six months. Uh, a happy and free great British summer, he said, uh, just minutes before his cabinet colleague, Liz Truss, said it was far too early to be able to talk about that. Why do they do this? Why do they set themselves up? And make promises they probably can't keep. And if you are going to make promises, all of you agree. Otherwise, you raise everyone's hopes, then they get dashed. Just deal in the moment. Get us out of this hell. Stop making promises you can't keep. Well, we'll find out from the care minister whether we should plan for a great, free British summer or whether it's far too early to talk about Does that. Does she agree with right one now. minister or another? <laughs> Take your pick. Still ahead on Good Morning Britain, we are joined by who's also backing the campaign. First, let's get the news travel and weather with you. See you in a moment. Still to come as the UK breaks the... Before we get to the papers, just want to thank uh, all our viewers. We had our uh, record ratings last Wednesday mm. and the closest ever gap to the other show that pops up on. The one where I used to work. That one. Yeah, the one they're, they're always whining uh, normally about us. But anyway, thank you to all our... Our new viewers, if you've come from the other side, welcome. And we hope that we continue to inform you and entertain you and be part of it. Mm. Let us know what you think about the stuff we're talking about. Tweet us or email us or Facebook us, whatever you want to do. We're all one big family if here at If you've come from Everyone Loves Raymond, yeah. welcome as well. Yeah. Wherever you have come from to join the Good Morning Britain viewers. And we, everyone loves Susanna. And Thank you so keen much. on me. Although, interestingly, a poll came out at the weekend, Ipsos Mori. Oh, yeah. In which uh, it was actually a poll that was based on one that they did last year. Who is holding this government best to account? Who do you think number one was? Marcus Rashford, the footballer, the one who's being currently abused by racist yobs, mm. was deemed the number one person for holding the government account. And quite rightly, he got <laughs> government policy changed. Number two, yes. what it says to me is how important it is that we carry on doing what we do, yeah. which is holding them to account. Yeah. Bottom of that list was the Labour Party. And we'll have one of the Labour Party uh, ministers on in a short while to ask, why is it that the public think you're so ineffectual as a party in this pandemic and holding the government to account? It's their job. They're the opposition. Why do people think I do it better than Keir Starmer? That's not good for Keir Starmer. No. But anyway, it's good for our programme. Yes. So thank you. So welcome. And, um, and it's good to have you on board. Let's have a look at the front pages this morning, which all feature Captain Sato. The running campaign started by the Daily Star for me to be Prime Minister. Well, it's been joined by some big names, but they don't come bigger than this. This is Val Savage, Robbie Savage's <laughs> mum. Right. Who writes a blistering column in the Daily Mirror. She's gone public. Is she for or against? Wait and see. <laughs> can I just say? Can I remind you, Val, your son was Robbie Savage, one of the baddest boys the clues in, in the modern name. football history. So if you've got... If uh, in the mirror, so you keep being you, Val. Was this the campaign support. that the Daily Star the next day apologised for? Well, they apologised because the odds went from... Monster. Yeah, well, listen, if, I, if my public want me to serve, of course I will consider it. It's competition, competition time, time. It's a big one. It's the big Feb... 300... Piers Morgan and Susanna Reeve.